Good morning, dolls, and welcome to Little Gretchen's Workshop. So I have a very special haul today. I wanted to show you dolls what I got. Look at this. This is a beautiful replica of a Ringer washing machine. It's actually got all the movable parts. It's very realistic. The lady I bought it from actually said it came from her mother's collection. And so it was very precious to her. So I feel very fortunate to have gotten this item. It is really beautiful. It's heavy. It's all metal. It's got caster wheels on the bottom that actually work. The hose is actually rubber. And you can see it opens on the inside. Oops. I took the agitator out. There it is. Very nice. Very realistic. And I actually received it. It was from a lovely lady I purchased from um, on eBay. She was selling some items off. It was really, um, really, really nice. And she, um, her name was Laurie. And she just, like I said, she told me, thank you for purchasing, but that the items belong to her mother's collection. Now she threw in a couple bonus items that I thought was really, really sweet. Look at that. Two laundry detergent um, boxes. And I think, think that'll actually be really great for accessorizing the laundry room or utility room. Yeah, but I just wanted you dolls to see it because it's one of the many things that are going to be going into the utility room. So I just wanted to show you this before we went any further to talk about any other elements and components of the utility room. So let's go ahead and go to the next part of the video. Good morning, dolls, and welcome to Little Gretchen's Workshop. So now that we're done with the dolls party and all the things regarding the 1K celebration, we do still have quite a few things to take care of in the Roaming House dollhouse. Now, if you saw the haul for the little washing machine for the utility room, then you know that that's our next project that's forthcoming. So this is sort of like what I used to call the crown or the centerpiece of the laundry room or utility room. And there are quite a few other pieces that I do need to make to really fulfill my vision in that room. Now, I am going to use a beadboard concept, but I'm going to take it all the way up the wall for the utility room. I definitely was considering making a few other things for that room. Now the space is kind of small, so I can't do anything really wild and extensive, but I just want to go into the room and fit some things around and sit some things in there to kind of get a feel for how much room I have to work with as far as filling and making and fitting items in there. So I'm going to do some little placeholders just to get a feel for things, but I'm just going to take you dolls along with me so that you'll see how to create templates in the room so as you decide what you're going to make or purchase or collect for a particular space or setting you'll just give yourself a general idea as far as the sizing the measurements how things are going to fit and where they'll actually sit in the room so come on along let's do that okay now dolls you can see in this room so i've got my washer right here and I've got, well, the shape of an ironing board. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger than that. I'm going to work on the scale for that, but I kind of wanted it to be here. Now, if you dolls can look and see, I've got a uh, paper bag templates already fitted to the walls. So that's what I'm going to actually make my bead board on. And for those of you who've never seen my bead board, this is what my bead board is going to look like. I'm actually going to make it in this brown tone. And then after I make it and stain it in this brown tone, I will be adding paint to it and giving it a very weathered look. But it's actually made on to um, paper bag, brown paper bag templates. But again, I'm going to take it all the way up the wall. So it'll go all the way up. I won't cut it short. So you'll see what I mean when I begin to make the templates. But that's my idea for the treatment for the walls. And it'll be painted a lighter color, so this room will be a little bit brighter, even though it's going to be distressed. You know, I just had to pull the camera back a little bit to give you a fuller view of the laundry room and just to kind of see what it looks like 
and you can see the paper bag template on the sides of the walls you can see the floor is already done but just one even look at that ceiling oh my goodness it's a mess but i might keep keep some of that distress and that might add to the vintage or worn look but you see it got a good look at my paper bag templates there so i just wanted you to see a really full view of the laundry room not just the lower half and what i was talking about now in addition to the washer being in here i have this sort of as a placeholder um this was given to me by a friend at the ann arbor um miniature show but to me it has a nice shape like it looks like it would be a nice um wash tub or yeah tub uh sink i'm going to consider this i do have another option but i definitely like the size and the shape of it now you see the uh, bottle of tacky glue sitting here in the corner now i'm gonna have to check it for scale but i kind of like the size and the shape of the tacky glue container and i'm not going to tell you what i'm going to do with that but i'm using that as a placeholder if somebody could guess let me know in the comments if you could let me know either in the comments or in the community tab what you think i might be using that to make or create for the laundry room so those are my ideas dolls and again you see i have um the paper bag template is actually covering the wall of the whole room all of this is paper bag template in order for me to create the beadboard on the walls. So I do have quite a bit of work to do, dolls, but I just wanted to pop in here and show you what my ideas were. So you'll kind of have an idea of what videos will be coming up. Now, dolls, if you enjoyed this video today, definitely let me know in the comments like share and subscribe and always look for me on mondays and wednesdays after 7 30 p.m eastern standard time again i want to say a special shout out to all my subscribers you are absolutely awesome i appreciate you so much i've had so much fun with you dolls creating the celebration the original dollhouse tour and all of those things during the month of august and i have some wonderful things in store for you for the month of September. And I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next episode of Little Gretchen's Workshop. Bye-bye now, dolls.